All right, a lot of people enjoy the outdoors, of course, but imagine living in them, and that's exactly what one local snowboarder is doing. News 4's Olivia DeGenero joins us in the studio now with a story you'll only see right here on News 4. Olivia? That's right, Shelby. Well, pro snowboarder Mike Bassich has spent much of his time in the Sierra snow, but now he lives in the mountains three miles away from a paved road off the grid. And Bassich has never given an interview to a local media outlet, but he agreed to show me the small home he built all by himself. Tucked in the Sierra on a snowy mountaintop, Mike Bassich calls a 275 square foot room his home. At 33, I was like, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? You know, I want to do something different, challenging. But he realized his dream long before he was 33, when he was just 10 years old. I wanted to build my own house with my own hands. So about 10 years ago, Bassich embarked on an adventure to make that dream come true. He bought a piece of property in the High Sierra and used his land to create a home. Uh, all the materials from here, milled all the trees and the floor, and everything you see, he built with his own two hands. This is all you? It's all, yeah, handcrafted, um, hand-mixed cement, um, a lot of hard work. Bassich says he used the environment to shape his building process. Because the first year I was here, I lived in a teepee, and that really was rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it gave me a really understanding of how to work with the weather. And every feature of his home has intention behind it. The, the loft sleeps too. Um, Comfortable, we wake up, actually the sunrise comes right through the, the top window here, which is really nice to wake you up. The wall of windows faces south and they're angled so the sun helps heat the room. The rocks start over here, start to heat up from the sun, and by evening the sun comes through this window and heats these rocks, which hold, the granite holds a great amount of heat, which uh, can last all night. And he says those windows also make his space feel much bigger than it really is. Openness is important to me, especially when you live in a small place, mm -hmm. to remember what's out there in the world, not get huddled down and be this little hermit in the woods. That's not what I'm here to do. One of the challenges of living in such a small space, though, is including all of the amenities a home needs. Everything seems like it has multiple purposes, like even the, the stove here is actually an oven, too. Yeah, oven, hot water, those coils that heats your hot water. Um, cooking top for cooking, which I do, you know, for almost pretty much every meal. Even the foundation of the house is built on several large boulders, leaving space underneath for a storage cellar and furnace that heats the floors as well as an outdoor hot tub. But while he was building his home, he didn't write down any of his plans. I'm not even going to, like, draw out how I'm going to build this thing, because if I draw it all out, it's already built. He says he was inspired by the golden ratio, but he based many of his construction decisions off instinct alone. Listening to the environment. But Bassich didn't stop with his house. His most recent endeavor was building a chairlift for friends and family to share in his passion of snowboarding. The chairlift was something that pushed me a, a lot. Like his house, that project involved a lot of trial and error. Again, I didn't know if it was going to work or not. Mm -hmm. But I was willing to just go for it. And I had a lot of friends come up and we were winching stuff from trees. Before living off the grid, Mike Bassich focused on his snowboarding career and had success with the stock market. And I lived in a huge house, had everything to offer, um, but it wasn't, it didn't feel very rewarding to me. But he says he feels richer living in 275 square feet than he ever has before. I feel like a billionaire up here just because I have such a connection with value. And it's hard to beat the breathtaking views right off his back porch. This is where I landed back after traveling for 20 years around the world. Um, this was, this feels like home. And if you want to see the full unedited interview with Mike Bassich, we're going to post it over on our website, mynews4.com. And if this story piqued your interest at all, I definitely recommend heading over there and hearing his reasoning behind all of the tiny details. He answers a lot of questions that we just couldn't get to in this report. Joe, Shelby, 